This week's look at sports is Jess Burton and Jess we've had some exciting games this week including one we were able to cover. That's right John the girls soccer game against Swampscott that MHTV sports covered was a great game we'll have highlights from that later on in the show but let's get headliner sports started today with the boys cross country team which won twice this week and improved to 5-0. and they beat Danvers on the 8th, 17-43. A.J. Ernst finished first with a time of 16 minutes, 32 seconds. And he just kept running right through to the Winthrop race on the 13th, where he finished first once again with a time of 18:45 in a 15-50 magician win. The girls' cross-country team also won twice this week and stayed undefeated. It was a 15-50 final against Danvers and a 21-40 win against Winthrop with a first-place finish for Mia Forrester, clocking in at 23-49. The golf team had their final three regular season matches this week, winning twice before losing their end-of-the-year tri-match, which had big-time conference implications. But before the tri-match, the team had to shoot their way past Winthrop, which they did 47-25, and then the Revere Patriots were next, and they beat them 50-22. to The end-of-season tri-match took place on the 14th and featured our magicians, Gloucester, and the Big Blue. Marblehead needed to beat Gloucester to take the NEC Conference, but came up short losing both matches, 39.5 to 32.5 to the Fishermen, and 37.5 to 34.5 to the Blue. Marblehead finished second with an 8-5 record and will participate in the postseason. If you tuned in last week, I mentioned that the field hockey team had a set of win-win loss-tie games going over their last eight games. Well, they broke that trend this week, going loss-win-loss. Loss. The first loss was a shutout by Peabody, 1-0 on the 9th. Then the Magicians shut out 1-9 Revere, 3-0, with goals by Alexis Shapiro, Bell Sogolov, and Olivia Indelicato. And then the girls went back to getting shut out for the second time in the week by the Beverly Panthers, 2-0. So the girls are currently 5-5-2, five, five, and two. and listen to this. They've been shut out by opponents in all of their losses and all of their ties, but they shut out opponents in four of their five wins. So every time Marblehead scores a goal, they win, and they're going to need to score some goals this week if they want a shot at the postseason. It was a heck of a game Saturday afternoon at Endicott College as the Magicians football team took the undefeated Beverly Panthers down to the wire, winning the game with 3.1 seconds left and taking control of first place in the NEC North. It was a 28-21 win for the Black and Red, whose starting quarterback Garrett Keough decimated the Panther defense through the air, throwing for four touchdowns, including three to Manning Sears, and then an unforgettable four-yard pass to Harry Craig to clinch the win. Just a huge win for Marblehead. If you're under the impression that the Marblehead Swampscott rivalry just isn't as intense as it used to be, you should have been at the girls' soccer game on Monday night under the lights up at Piper Field. The place was electric. It seemed like everybody came out from both towns to see the 10 and 1 magicians battle the 10 and 1 Big Blue. And we'll pick it up here in the second half. 3 1 Swampscott. Marblehead's Rory Shouter has a direct kick, kick from 30 out, out and she good. puts it corner pocket, far post. What a shot by Shouter to, to bring Rory the magicians Shouter. within one. And then like deja vu, but this time from a little There's deeper, Shouter again going to give it a go in stop time. Just about 50 seconds left and off the crossbar, the but action in front. A couple away. more chances for Marblehead, Still and then finally it's in. Away. Megan nice McCarthy, her goal. second goal of the game. She's one of the smallest girls on the field, you but big in the clutch for Marblehead. A 3-3 tie is what the teams end the night in, which keeps the Magicians in first place a game ahead of the Big Blue. You can see all the action in full right here on MHTV, brought to you by our community partner, National Grand Bank, on Monday, October 19th at 7.30 p.m. or on Saturday, the 24th at 1 p.m. And the girls finish their week by putting their stamp down on undefeated Peabody. They're just rolling through everyone in the NEC right now. They get the best of the Tanners 2-1. to one. Alexis Bossley scored both goals, including the game winner on a penalty kick with eight minutes to go. And Phenom goalie Lauren Unterborn only needed to make five saves in the win. The volleyball team's 11-0 and got their biggest win of the year thus far and maybe the biggest win in program history. The girls beat the Peabody Tanners who since bringing a volleyball program into their school had never lost a game. That's right, our magicians ended the Tanners three-year winning streak and it didn't even take them five games to do it. A three-to-one final would do it. Jenny Norcross, ooh, kill him. 20 kills for her team and teammate Emma Bushman assisted on 32 points. Marblehead is officially top dog in the NEC. 
And we'll wrap things up this week with the boys' soccer team, who improved to 7-3-2 by beating Peabody 1-0 behind an Andrew Wanstall shutout and Will Gaddis penalty kick late in the game. Be sure to tune into that girls' soccer game against Swampscott on the 19th at 7.30 or the 24th at 1 p.m. The girls are really good. It was fast-paced, fun game to watch, better than some World Cup action we've had lately. Thanks for watching Headliner Sports. I'm Jess Burton. John? That was a very exciting game, Jess. Yeah, and uh, One They're that uh, they were able to bring it back, and that's always exciting. It is. That concludes this week's Headliner. I'm John Caswell. On behalf of the entire news team here at MHTV, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a good week. We'll see you next time.